Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. I hope you are all doing well and enjoying the festivities. Of course, Merry Christmas as it's just around the corner and a Happy New Year. Now, the World Cup's in the rear view. I've got over England now a little bit, just a little bit, maybe still gutted. But forget about the World Cup now. It's all eyes on Leeds United. We will return soon. Premier League action is not too far away. And of course, now... The transfer merry-go-round has started to get into full swing. And I woke up to some exciting news this morning and I can't wait to share that with you. So before we get into the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in and of course hit that notification bell because it's transfer time, people. Let's get into it. I don't think I do it. Oh, Arsenal no, started I like I house on fire. We do it if Signing good, number two so for this new era. It's judgment day, people. Yeah! yeah! What did your boy tell you? It was never in doubt. Never in doubt. Don't believe in any so, folks, we're going to start with Mateus Kuna. You've heard the name before. Of course you have. Akuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. And it was a wonderful phrase this morning when I seen it, that Leeds United are serious about bringing Mateus Kuna to Ellen Road from Atletico Madrid. He is going to move from Atleti What? ever happens. His game time has been limited. We know that Atletico sort of play anti-football. What I don't want Leeds fans to do, because I see it quite a lot, is like, we dodged a bullet with CDK. We dodged a bullet with Rodrigo De Paul. We, we dodged a bullet with Mateus Kuna. No, they would improve us astronomically straight away, regardless of what's been going on at their prospective clubs. And remember, not always players fit at certain clubs, right? We know Diego Simeone plays a certain way. Um, you know, look what he's doing with Joao Felix, for example. All of a sudden, everyone thinks he's a gash footballer. When we know that not to be the case, and we've seen that at the World Cup for uh, Portugal. Statistically, statistically speaking, Mateus Kuhn is on the level of players like Lautaro Martinez, Gabi Jesus, Antoine Griezmann, Lacazette, etc. And he is just 23 year old. And that's the perfect age for a Leeds United prospective player, bringing him in at what would be considered for me quite a cut price deal. He's only valued at around about 20 million. Um, for a player of his capabilities, of his skill set at that age, Listen, it can't be sniffed at. Now, he has only started two games this season. I think played around 11 in total and has two assists during that time. But as I say, as we know, he's fallen out of favour and wants to move to the Premier League. Now, Leeds United aren't the only club interested in him. And that's something to consider. Well, massive feather in our cap, though, is, of course, Mr. America himself, Jesse Marsh, because he has managed Mateus Kuna before when they spent time together at Leipzig during 2018-19. And we know from history that players that have worked with Jesse, they're very, very big on him. So that could be maybe the deciding factor that seals the deal. Of course, Leeds United have to put up the cash. Of course, we have to stump that cash up first and foremost. And we need to give this guy a good wage. And this is where issues come for me. Everton are also long-term admirers, but I think, I think we would outdo them in a deal. The big one, though, is, of course, Wolverhampton Wanderers. He is moving to the Premier League, whatever the weather, I, I believe. Mateus Kuna will line up in the Premier League come January. Now, one of the early favourites and, and, and the ones leading the race, you could argue, are Wolves. And that's obviously due to the respect for the manager, Lopetegu. And also, uh, Valencia have a strong preference in a move to Wolves materialising. Just because of the Mendes link. But not only that, Wolves are also looking at central defender Felipe. And they believe they can get... 50 million for Felipe and Kuna from Wolves. So, of course, Atleti are probably looking at that and saying, right, that's our preferred destination. But hopefully, Leeds United, having been linked to him before he's moved to Atleti from Hertha Berlin, and the fact that Jesse's at the helm, hopefully we can bring him in. And look, we're in dire need of a centre forward, and Mateus Kuna can be that guy. Of course, he can play off the left, he can play off the right, and we know at Leeds United, we love to have versatile players, but we need a centre-forward. Patrick Bamford is injured yet again. I think he's probably done, which hurts me, because I love him, but 
his time's coming to an end. So for me, Mateus Kuna would be an excellent signing if we could manage to get it over the line. And I think this one could rumble on. There is competition, but hopefully Leeds United can seal the deal. Now, another one I want to speak about, of course, is Yunus Musa. A lot of you will have watched USA men's national team during the World Cup. He was one of their shining lights, okay? He's just 20-year-old. Previously at Arsenal, moved over to Spain. Midfielder, combative midfielder, uh, can play in attacking midfield and also off the right. Started 10 times for Valencia this season and has two assists to his name. Now, a lot of people during the World Cup were speaking to me saying, would you take Musa? Would you take Musa? Of course, every day of the week. I just felt that it wouldn't be a deal that Leeds United could do. However, looking at his market value around about 20 million and due to the fact that Valencia are actually open to selling him, I think it's one Leeds United 100% have to be all over. Not least due to the fact that Mateus Click's going to go. Goodbye, Mateus Click. I love you. Adam Forshaw, who's saying he wants to fight for his place, but again, a lot like Bamford, he's sort of on the treatment table a lot. You get an injury to Adams or a rocker, we're in a really poor situation. Numbers are dwindling, of course, Dark or JB, etc. But if you can go out and get someone who's had an excellent World Cup for around about £20 million and the club itself is willing to do business, then for me, it's a no-brainer. It also makes sense from a commercial sense. Not only that, Musa would probably be licking at his lips in the prospect of coming to the Premier League and joining up with his USA men's national team captain in Tyler Adams, of course, and Brendan Aronson, and then the coach, Jesse Marsh. For me, like, it just makes perfect sense for Leeds United to go after uh, Moose. As I say, Valencia want to sell, and they believe his impressive displays in Qatar might mean that people will be in the market for him. A host of Premier League clubs are looking at him, right? And he's going to be around about 20 million. For me, you've got to get it done. He's under contract till 25, 26, but he wants a new challenge. What better challenge than to spearhead, along with Adams, along with Aronson, this American sort of train that's taking over at the minute, you know, respect at the international stage, getting much more respect in the Premier League as well, which still is the number one league in the world. Like, what more of a challenge is that? Like, for me, for us to bring in Eunice Musa, Mateus Kuna, that would be amazing. We know the club are going to get a left back as well. It may not be a first teamer, like oven ready left back. I think they're going to go after a young prospect and look to bring him on and challenge with Pascal. Obviously, we've got Leo Hjelda back in the frame as well. But for me, this is. There's been a lot of talk as well um, about the striker at Portugal who, who got the hat trick. But again, it's not really coming from like 100% credible sources. This stuff is coming from David Ornstein, tier one, top tier, number one journal, yeah? Up there with Fabrizio Romano saying that Leeds are serious about Mateus Kuna. And also, host of Premier League clubs are interested in Yunus Musa. Leeds, for me, need to be at the front of that. We need to be at the front of that line. We've got the American conglomerate already at the football club. We need a midfielder because we're going to be losing click. Forshaw's on his last legs. We already have seen Adams out against City. Who's going to replace him? Are you confident with Forshaw and Rocker? I'm sorry, I'm not. You give me Musa, then that changes. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, let me know your thoughts on Kuna, on Musa, and the prospective signing of a left back. I've missed you. It's been a minute. I'm glad the World Cup's done now. Let's talk Leeds United. I love it, man. Make sure you get your comments in, hit the notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace out and Merry Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. I don't think I do it. Arsenal started like house on fire. Signing number two for this new era. It's judgment day, people. Yeah! What did your boy tell you? It was never in doubt. Never in doubt.